Hey everyone, Ali here from Living in Gatineau. For those who don't know, I'm a real estate agent here in the city of Ottawa, Gatineau. And if you find this video valuable or learn anything new, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions specifically on the market, you can also book a call directly with me through the first link in the description. Let's get into it. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic. Could Canada solve its housing affordability crisis by taking a leaf out of Vienna's book? Vienna's housing model is not just a success story, it's a benchmark for cities worldwide. So let's explore how Canada could adapt this model. But before we jump in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button for more content like this. First, let's understand what makes Vienna's housing model so special. In Vienna, a significant portion of land is publicly owned, which allows the city to control housing development and keep prices affordable. Subsidized housing is available not just for low-income residents, but for a majority of the population. This inclusive approach avoids the stigma often associated with subsidized housing. Quality standards in Vienna are high, with a focus on sustainability and community living. The system is funded through a dedicated housing fund supported by local taxes. It's a rental model, ensuring long-term security for tenants. Now, how can Canada learn from this? Canada is grappling with a significant housing affordability crisis. In cities like Toronto and Vancouver, housing prices have skyrocketed, making it difficult for average Canadians to own or even rent homes. So what if Canada adopted Vienna's approach? First, more public ownership of land could be key. Canadian cities could acquire land to develop affordable housing projects. This would involve a shift in urban planning, focusing more on a long-term sustainability and less on immediate profit. Next, imagine a housing system in Canada where the focus is on community and quality, not just affordability. Like Vienna, we could offer subsidized houses to a broader segment of the population, breaking down social barriers. But it's not without challenges. Implementing such a model in Canada would require significant policy shifts, funding allocations, and a change in the public's perception of subsidized housing. However, the opportunities are vast. By adopting a model similar to Vienna's, Canada could not only address its affordability crisis, but also build more cohesive, sustainable, and livable cities. In conclusion, while there are challenges in adopting Vienna's model to Canadian context, the potential benefits are undeniable. It's an opportunity to rethink how we approach housing in our cities. What do you think about this idea? Could it work in Canada? Let us know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.